Uh, I'm hiring chefs because chefs they are really hard workers and they're working fast. They're used to that. My chefs they have worked in the warm kitchen for many years and I've done that myself. And when you work in a warm kitchen, you have different uh, ingredients than you normally have in a chocolate factory. That's why I combine pine needle, coriander, uh, fresh cream, fresh butter, and the best chocolate you can find. But of course, these very, very high-end products are very sensitive, so you still need all the feeling from the hands. You can invest in machines, you still need the good guys, the good people to, to make the chocolate. We are present in uh, New York, Paris, uh, Gangnam, uh, a lot of different places and uh, we want to rise slowly, but of course we would like to be in every big city in the world uh, in a few years. Want to be massaged by Heavenly King? No problem. Let me take you to the highest level of massage indulgence. Awesome U Infinity, the world's first massage chair that lets you download new massage programs like the CEO, the Tai Tai, and my Heavenly King massage. New massage downloads to satisfy the whole family. Amazing? So what are you waiting for? New massage downloads for endless pleasure. Awesome U Infinity. Awesome. Yes, I'm down here in the mix zone with uh, Kashyap and, uh, and your opponent retired from your mats. How is it just to play a few points and then stop again? Uh, not so good. I mean, uh, he's a good competitor. Uh, we've had uh, good matches in the past, me and uh, Darren, very close ones as well. So I was expecting a good match. And uh, unfortunately, you know, he, uh, I think he, he told me he injured himself in the morning and then uh, his ankle was swollen and he could not play anymore. So, yeah. But how is it to be through to the next round? Uh, it's okay. I mean, uh, I've uh, prepared uh, quite okay for this tournament. So I've been doing well uh, for the last few months. So second round uh, is going to be good, uh, a good match, I think, uh, because uh, I'm going to play the local guy, uh, Jan Jorgensen, maybe in the second round, if he wins his first round in the evening. So, uh, so he's a good friend and it's going to be a good match. Yeah. Do you think you can beat him? Uh, we've had a close match before. Uh, I mean, uh, we've played twice, and he's won uh, once, and I've won once. So, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough to say who's going to win, but I'm sure it's going to be a good match. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good luck. Welcome back here at um, the Yonex Denmark Open in uh, Odense Sports Park. We're almost ready for um, a match in the uh, first round ladies singles. 
after the unfortunate withdrawal of um, Darren Leo against um, P. Kashup. And we're to watch another Indian player, perhaps the biggest female sports star of India, Saina Nival. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right. Saina, of course, Saina the Nival, uh, Olympic India. bronze medalist of uh, 2012 in um, London. Bulgaria. And uh, defending champion here in uh, Ulmse. Won the tournament last year. And she's up against the One love. young Bulgarian player, Stephanie Stoeva. Just 18 years of age. Two love. Reigning uh, junior European champion in uh, women's doubles. Three love. And also in uh, women's singles. Bulgaria keeps producing strong female badminton Service players. Over. One, three. Stoeva set to follow in the footsteps of uh, Petra and Delcheva. But um, Service over. she has a tough task in, uh, in this match facing uh, Sana Nival. I was playing her first uh, tournament since uh, the World Championships. Well, that's not actually co totally correct because um, she competed in the Indian Badminton League who kicked off Five, one. right after the World Championships and went on for three weeks. But since then, she's been practicing. Service over. Two, five. game to get started in the tournament with for um, Service over. San and Naval, heavy favorite of Six, course to proceed four. to the second round and, and one of the favorites to win the tournament but when you haven't played for a while then it's nice to slowly get back into competition Chat there from uh, Stoeva. Five, seven. Service over. Eight, five. We've seen a lot of um, young Asian ladies singers players dominating the world badminton circuit. Sindhu winning world championship bronze. Rachana Ginsanan, the world champion. And uh, I wouldn't expect the same kind of dominance from um, 
from Stoiva. Still a lot to go there. On court number three, women singles. But, uh, Please nice six-point lead for uh, Sainan Nival. Into the first interval here. Stephanie Stoiva coached by Dane Bennett England and uh, of course Sina coached by uh, Gopi Chan. Gopi Chan has been busy here on uh, the streaming court. First with uh, Sindhu who lost a close match against uh, Hirose and then P. Kashap who didn't have to Work for two sets to get past Darren Liev. Darren had to withdraw due to a foot injury. Service over. Six eleven. Service over. Twelve six. Service over. Thirteen seven. Fourteen seven. Fourteen seven for uh, Sina Nival and. Uh, no doubt that this is going to be a victory for um, the Indian ace. Might be perfectly so possible over. for us to ever to collect some points because uh, as a top player, when you get this feeling that you are going to get past this match quite easily, then most of the players adjust. You want to play some good rallies like this so one, but once in a while, there's a loose point eight. up for grabs for the opponents. However, valuable um, experience, participating uh, in tournaments at this level, normally plays European circuit tournaments. Service over nine seventeen. Ten. one of those lose points. But of course, also important for uh, Sina to to prepare for the next round and. And the rest of this tournament and, and the next one as well in, in Paris, uh, the week coming after this, um, 
Yonex Denmark Open Premier Series. So, of course, uh, you want to get your game back together. Getting the small details that you've been practicing on, getting them into your game, see if they can work. But sometimes um, it's not possible when you're not really under pressure because that's actually what you might be practicing, what to do when under a lot of pressure. Service over. 18, 11. Pretty significant that uh, it's actually almost been uh, Sina creating all the points, both her own and, and also the opponent's points. That's a good shot. 13, 19. Quite a few mistakes here from uh, from Sana Neval and um, she would of course look to minimize those, but uh, this nice shot gives her the first game, 21-16, and. Uh, Got the coaches on court again for some advice. Difficult task <laughs> for uh, Gopi Chan because I mean, there's only so much you can practice when, when you're not really challenged. And and it might sound a bit, a bit harsh to say that she's not challenged. I mean, Stoeva got 16 points, but uh, she was never in any real danger of um, losing that game. Sign and about. So, just get it over with. Go back to the hotel and uh, prepare for tomorrow.
Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Well, ready for the second game here. First one to send in the ball, 21 16. One love. But um, the actual. Strength difference between these two players are much, much bigger. It could be interesting to two, see what the score would be if they played for like $10 a point or something like that. Service over. One, five. Service over. Just gone wide, but um, quite Six, a good shot she's one. got there. Still hit up, straight down the line. One lead. And I guess in some way you could say that the match is a Service little bit too over. easy for Sina to Nine. sort of get any sort of benefit from it to her oncoming matches in the tournament. Play there from uh, Stuyva. Service over. Ten three. Over. Four, ten. Oh. 
Service over. 11 4. The seven point lead for Sun and Naval here going into the interval in uh, the second game. Having won the first 21 16. And pretty confident that she's going to win this match and progress to the second round. Next match coming up on uh, this live stream court from uh, Jonix Denmark Open is uh, Hans Christian Witting, who's playing against Tanning Sachsen from uh, Thailand. 20 seconds. Expect that match to be a bit more even than this one. And so stay tuned here on uh, this uh, live stream. 11-4, flat. Service over. Five, twelve. It's just gone wide. Service over. Sina wasn't going to go for that 30, one. Too five. much. If it was in, it was in. Then she was just going to take another point in another rally. Service over. Six thirty. Service over, Service over fifteen seven. <laughs> Survived a couple of extra shots there. Sign in the vault. Eight fifty. Probably would have gone wide that one, but instead a mistake from um, Sonny Nivell. Service over. 
16, 9. Over ten sixteen. Normally we say the winner of this match, but uh, barring any uh, unforeseen injuries, it will be Sana Naval, and uh, tomorrow she will be playing Kirsty Gilmore of uh, Scotland. Could be a matchup that we'll see in the Commonwealth Games coming up in uh, 2014. Six, three, 18, ten. Unlike the Olympics, where Scotland participated under the Great Britain flag. The Commonwealth Games is, of course, in Glasgow. Service over. Eleven eight. In about a year's time. Service over. Nineteen. Nine. Service over. Twenty match point twelve. And there's the match for uh, Sana Neval. 27 minutes of play. And the score is 21-16, 21-12. Progresses to the second round of this uh, Yonex Denmark Open Premier Series. And we'll have a live interview with uh, Sana Neval coming up during the next match on this live stream court where we'll see Hans Christian Witting who's playing against Tanang Sak Sanson Bonsuk. So stay tuned to this uh, live coverage here from the fairy tale city of Odense. The airport is being developed as a test center for UAVs. Here you can fly your UAV, you can uh, run your business from here, you can invite customers. Located here at, at the airport is uh, also the Danish National Network uh, for the UAV Society. We have uh, actually uh, collected, uh, gathered the whole uh, UAV community from the universities and researchers, students, to uh, operators and companies producing UAVs. And also uh, we have the end users like uh, public organizations like police, emergency management, uh, fire squads, etc. So we have the whole market. There's a lot of uh, air traffic in, uh, in Europe, uh, but here it's, uh, it's close to the ocean and it's a pretty densely populated area. So, so the possibilities for operating here uh, are very good. We have both offices, hangars, meeting facilities, so when you come here as a foreign company, it's, it's really easy to, to get located here for a shorter or longer period of time.
Developing the airport is, uh, is an important thing both for the country as a whole and uh, not at least for the region. RISE is a homewares company. We're wholesaling and distributing all over the world, so we make anything, everything, which is functional and colorful for the home. We started 15 years ago. We moved from Paris to Denmark and uh, started in our small summer house at the time. And then we've just been growing and growing and growing from there. More and more we are focusing on Asia, so we've got distribution in Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, Korea, South Korea, uh, Japan, Australia as well. Yeah, we'd love to get into China as well. Live, love, laugh, it's always been sort of the cornerstone of what we do. We like, of course, we like to grow and to expand our business, but we also want to have fun at the same time. To me, it's kind of an everyday magic thing. We like that little items that make, when you open your dishwasher, it's nice and colorful. Or when you look in your kitchen or go to the kids' room, there's something which has a function. It might be a nice basket in the shape of a house or with a beautiful embroidery with something funny. Just details like that. We spend a lot of time and money on food safety as well and safety on the products, testing everything, making sure that everything is up to to standards internationally. We are in the south of Fyn, a fantastic, beautiful place. We are in the old inn in Vesterobu. All the people are, of course, very, very trained people, but uh, I'm hiring chefs because chefs, they are really hard workers and they're working fast. They're used to that. My chefs, they have worked in the warm kitchen for many years and I've done that myself. And when you work in a warm kitchen, you have different uh, ingredients than you normally have in a chocolate factory. That's why I combine pine needle, coriander, uh, fresh cream, fresh butter and the best chocolate you can find. But of course, these very, very high-end products are very sensitive, so you still need all the feeling from the hands. You can invest in machines, you still need the good guys, the good people to, to make the chocolate. We are present in uh, New York, Paris, uh, Gangnam, uh, a lot of different places, and uh, we want to rise slowly, but of course we would like to be in every big city in the world uh, in a few years. Thank you. 